Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you about pulmonary arterial venous malformation imaging. Terminology Pulmonary arterial venous malformation PAVM Abnormal direct communication between pulmonary artery and vein associated with hereditary hemorrhagic Telangiectasia. Okay. Aslo Weber Rendell syndrome. Most common sign symptom. Incidental solitary pulmonary nodule on Cherubra. Most HHG patient. Develop symptom by age 20. Epistasis is more common complaint. This means most common formulated complaint. Finding a complete complication of right to left hand, brain abscess, embolic stroke, mucocutaneous, gelangi etase. Other signs symptom right to left hand, this means sinusis, cloudy, congenital steel, and filler. Uh, the near is near the uh, upright relief uh, recumbent. Hemophysis is the most common symptom, maybe massive more likely with pregnancy. Demographic A, most uh, congenital, 10% uh, detected in childhood, incident gradually increased through sick. Decade of life. Male to female, one to two. Epidemiology rare, only one over five thousand. Imaging, smoothly imaginated, brightly enhancing nodule with feeding artery and draining vein. Most occur in low low. Plus minus surrounding ground glass and plastic in Telangi and Tazik. Subtime more common in children. Multi planner, CTA reconstruction or best inspection of PAVM and planning for trans catheter immobilization. Size of feeding artery and number of feeding. Vessel will impact therapy. Sequential inferior to superior from left to right lung CT image in a 12 years old boy with hereditary hemorrhagic telangi etase. So a large lobulated pulmonary arterial venous malformation in the right middle lobe. It is supplied by a single arterial feeder and has a larger caliber draining vein. Note a second smaller PAVM is the most superior image. Sequential superior to inferior axial CT image level one to six demonstrate a small PABM in the black lobe lobe with a small feeding artery and adjacent draining vein. This is CTA, so a large feeding artery causing media to large PAVM. And this is the CTA again, so a globular cluster of result from PAVM. Yeah. 
two axial line of CT image demonstrate a small nodular opacity in a classical esophageal recess in a 12 years old child with HAT. This is a small PAVM with a feeding artery. There is only faintly visible due to volume outreaching and a large uh, draining vein. Treatment, option risk, complication, refer patient to HHG center of excellence. Immobilization by endovascular coil, balloon, and or a plus uh, vascular plant. Thank you.